everyone! For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this 3-in-1 shawl. This shawl measures about 50 by 18 inches. This easy to crochet stitch has a design that looks like a butterfly and it just looks visible when worn like this. But you can also wear this as a regular shawl like this or as a shrug like this using the buttons. So let's get started! For the materials, I use three skeins of Simply Soft yarn in Toupe color. For the crochet hook, I use size K 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. I also use a blunt needle, pair of scissors, a measuring tape, and eight pieces of buttons. So let's start with a knot and chain 64. This is now 64 chains. Next is foundation row. So for foundation row, four double crochets and six chain from hook. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, four double crochets on that on the chain. One, <clears throat> two, three. Four double crochets in the same chain. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Then skip four chains. One, two, three, four. And on the next chain, single crochet. Chain five, three, four, five. Skip four chains again. One, two, three, four, and on the fifth chain, four double crochets in the same chain. One, two, three, four double crochets. Skip four stitch chains, one, two, three, four, and on the next chain, another four, four double crochets. One, two, three and four then chain five one two three four five skip four chains one two three four and on the next chain single crochet chain five again two three four five skip four chains one two, one two three four and in the next chain, four double crochets in the same chain. Two, three, four. Skip four chains. This is so far, this is how it looks like. So skip four chains again. One, two, three, four. And another four double crochets in the next chain. One, two, three. Four double crochets in the same chain. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip four chains, one, two, three, four. Single crochet in the next chain. Chain five, three, four, five. Skip four chains, one, two, three, four. Four double crochets in the next chain. One, two, three, four. Skip four chains again. One, two, three, four. Four double crochets in the next chain. Two, three, four. This is how it looks like. Chain five. Three, four, five. Skip four chains. And single crochet in the next chain. 
chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, skip 4 chains again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and on the next chain, 4 double crochets, 1, 2, 3, 4, four double crochets in the same chain. Now at this point, there are three stitches left. So to end the row, just skip two stitches and double crochet on the last stitch like this. And this is how foundation row looks like. Row 1, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn, skip the first 3 double crochets, 1, 2, 3, and on the 4th double crochet here, do 4 double crochets on that stitch. So 1, 2, 3, four double crochets in the same stitch. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Skip the chain five space and single crochet on the single crochet stitch. Chain five. Skip the chain five space again and on the first double crochet, four double crochets on that stitch. So one, two, three, four double crochets in the same stitch. Now skip the two sets of double crochets or the two shells and go to the last double crochet of the set right here and four double crochets on that stitch. So one, two, three, and four double crochets in the same stitch. This is how it looks like. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Skip the chain 5 space and single crochet on the single crochet stitch right here. Then chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Go to the first double crochet right here and 4 double crochets on that stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4 double crochets in the same stitch. Skip the two sets of double crochets and go to the last double crochet and four double crochets on that stitch. So this is two, three, and four. Chain five, three, four, five. Skip the chain five space and single crochet on the single crochet stitch. Then chain five. Skip the chain 5 space and go to the first double crochet and do 4 double crochets on that stitch. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. And skip the 2 sets and go to the last double crochet and 4 double crochets on that stitch. So this is 2, 3, and 4. Then chain five, three, four, five. Single crochet on the single crochet here. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Go to the first double crochet here and four double crochets on that stitch. One, two, three, four. Now to end the row, just double crochet on top of the turning chain here. On this one, just double crochet on top of this one, on this stitch. And this is how to end row one. And this is how row one looks like. Row 2. So for row 2, just repeat row 1 pattern. And this is how row 2 looks like. I've crocheted row 2 and this is how row 2 looks like.
Row 3. Chain 1. Turn. Single crochet in the first stitch here. Right here. Single crochet. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then skip the 4 double crochets here. And on the chain 5 space, this one, go to the middle stitch. Right here. This is the middle stitch, which is about right here, and four double crochets on that stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Four double crochets in the same stitch. Now go to the next chain five space, which is this one, and go to the middle stitch, which is this one. And do four double crochets again on the same stitch. So one, two, three, and four. This is how it looks like. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And in between the two shells, the two sets of double crochets on the first, Single crochet on the fourth double crochet here. Chain five, two, three, four, five. And on the chain five space, go to the middle stitch right here and four double crochets. One, two, three, and four in the same stitch. Go to the next chain 5 space right here and go to the middle stitch right here and 4 double crochets again. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Double crochets in the same stitch. So far this is how it looks like. Now chain 5 again. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet in the fourth double crochet here, or in between the two sets of double crochet. Then chain five, and go to the chain five space, and in the middle stitch, four double crochets. So one, two, three, four. 4 double crochets in the same stitch. Go to the chain 5 space and in the middle stitch, 4 double crochets again. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then chain 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Single crochet in the 4th double crochet here or in between. Chain 5. Four double crochets in the middle stitch of chain five space. Two, three, four. Go to the next chain five space and four double crochets in the middle stitch. One, two, three, four. Then chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Now to end the row, single crochet on top of the turning chain three, right here, Ch single crochet. And this is how to end row three. And this is how row three looks like. Row 4, chain 1, turn, single crochet in the first stitch here, right here, single crochet, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on the first double crochet here, 4 double crochets on that stitch, so 1, 2, 
three, four. And go to the last double crochet of the four of these two sets here on this last double crochet, four double crochets on that stitch. So one, two, three, and four. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And single crochet on this single crochet stitch here. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the first double crochet right here and four double crochets on that stitch. One, two, three, and four. And skip the two sets of double crochets and go to the last double crochet right here and four double crochets on that stitch. Two, three, and four. Chain five, two, three, four, five. Single crochet on the single crochet stitch here. Chain five. And on the first double crochet here, chain, I mean, four double crochets on that stitch. One, two, three, four double crochets in the same stitch. Skip the two sets of double crochet and go, go to the last double crochet and four double crochets on that stitch. So two, three, four. So far, this is how it looks like. Chain five, single crochet in the single crochet stitch here. Chain five, two, three, four, five. And on the first double crochet, four double crochets on that stitch again, two, three, and four. Then skip the two sets and go to the last double crochet and four double crochets on that stitch. Two, three, and four. Now chain five, one, two, three, four, five. To end the row, just single crochet on the last single crochet stitch here. And this is how to end row four. And this is how row four looks like. Row five. So for row five pattern, just repeat row four pattern. And this is how it looks like. I have already crocheted row five and this is how it looks like. Row six. Chain three, two, three, turn. And on the uh, chain five space here, go to the middle stitch and four double crochets. One, two, three, four. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go to the third, fourth double crochet and single crochet on that stitch. Then chain five, Go to the chain five space and go to the middle stitch and four double crochets on the middle stitch right here. So one, two, two, three, and four double crochets in the same stitch. Go to the next chain five space and four double crochets in the middle stitch. One, two, three, and four double crochets in the same stitch. Chain five. 
and single crochet on the fourth double crochet here. Chain 5. Go to the next chain 5 space and 4 double crochets in the middle stitch. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And go to the next chain 5 space and 4 double crochets again on the middle stitch. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. Chain 5. Single crochet on the 4th double crochet of the first shell. Chain 5. 4 double crochets in the ch middle chain of the chain 5 space. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 double crochets in the middle chain of the next chain 5 space. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then chain 5 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Single crochet in the 4th double crochet here. Chain 5. And then on the middle stitch of the chain 5 space, 4 double crochets. 1, 2, 3, and 4 double crochets in the same stitch. Now to end the row, just double crochet on the last stitch here, on the single crochet. And this is how row 6, how, this is how to end row 6. And this is how row 6 looks like. So from here, repeat rows 1 to 6 pattern simultaneously until your piece measures around 45 inches. So I'm going to continue my work. I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back when I have about 45 inches of my piece. And I'm going to end my piece with row 2 of the pattern. This is now how my piece looks like after crocheting about 45 inches of my piece. Right here, it's about 45 inches. And this is the close up of the design of the crochet stitch. It looks like a butterfly. And from top to bottom, it measures around 17 inches right here. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to crochet borders around the shawl and I'm going to continue, just continue where I left off on my last stitch. That's what I'm going to show you next. So from here, I'm going to show to crochet borders. So from here, for my last stitch, I'm just going to chain one, turn, and then single crochet in the first stitch right here. And single crochet in each stitch of the double crochets. So if I run into double crochets, I single I do single crochets in each stitch of the double crochet. And then on the chain five space, three single crochets on the chain five space. So one, two, and three. And then on the next chain five space, three single crochets again. So one. Two and three. And then I reach the double crochets again. I just single crochet in each stitch of the double crochets like this. So I'm gonna continue my work. I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back when I am towards the cor the uh, next corner of this shawl. So I'm here now towards the uh, other the corner. So I'm just going to continue with 
three single crochets on the chain five space here. So one, two, three, and then single crochet on the double crochets here on the last shell of this side. And then on the last stitch here, this will be the corner, this one. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make three single crochets on this stitch to do a to make a corner. So one, two, and three single crochets on the same stitch. And I just did a corner and this is how it looks like. And then from here I'm gonna work on the long end of the shawl. I'm just gonna continue with single two single crochets on the space here. So two single crochets on the space again. And then there's a space again, two single crochets. And then here, these are the rows that ends with single crochet. So on these stitches here, I'm gonna do single crochets also. So single crochet here on each stitch, right here. And here and then if there's a space I do two single crochets on the space right here so two single crochets on the space two single crochets on the space two single crochets on the space again and then the single crochet the rows that ends with single crochets I do single crochet. So continue this pattern. I'm going to cut off the video and I'll be back towards the other corner of the shawl. So I'm here now towards the other end of towards the other corner of the shawl. So I'm just going to continue with two single crochets on this space here. So two single crochets on the space. And then I'm going to single crochet on this next stitch here, one single crochet. And then one single crochet on the space. And then for my last stitch, will, which will be the corner, I'm going to do a three single crochets on this stitch here. Right here. So three single crochets. One, two, three and I just did my corner here this is how it looks like so from here I'm going to be working on the other uh, short end of the shawl so I'm just going to show you which part of the shawl am I here right here so it's the other short end of the shawl and from here I'm just going to do one single crochet on the space and then I'm going to skip this space here, this stitch, and then I'm going to go to the chain four space and I'm going to do five single crochets on this space. So this is two, three, four, and five. And go, this is how it looks like. And then go to the next chain four space right here and five single crochets again. So this is the pattern for this side, five single crochets on each of the chain four space uh, of this row. So I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back towards the next corner of this shawl. So I'm here now towards the next corner. So I'm just gonna continue with five single crochets on this space. This is two, three, four, five single crochets and on this last space here I'm just gonna do two single crochets like this and then I'm here making my next corner again so on this stitch I'm gonna do three single crochets on this stitch to make my corner and I just did and this is how it looks like and now I'm gonna turn my piece this way and I'm working on the long uh, end of the shawl so I'm just gonna do the same pattern of two single crochets on the space just like I did with the other side and then when I get to the rows where 
it ends in single crochet I just single crochet on each of the stitch like this so single crochet on single crochet with rows ending in single crochet and two single crochets on the spaces so continue this pattern across I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back towards the last corner so I'm here now towards the last corner of this piece so I'm just gonna continue with two single crochets on this space here and then two single crochets on this last space here and then to end this row I'm gonna do two more single crochets on this stitch here and then I'm gonna slip stitch on the first single crochet that we did our first single crochet and slip stitch to join the single crochets and this is how it looks like and from here I'm gonna work on the next row so chain two and single crochet on the next stitch I mean double crochet and just double crochet in each of the stitch around the shawl so that's just double crochet in each stitch just like this one here this is how it looks like so continue this pattern I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round so I'm here now towards the end of the round I'm just gonna continue with double crochet in each stitch until I reach the um, stitch where we started so just continue with a single double crochet here this is the last stitch so on the last stitch I'm gonna do three double crochets on the same stitch so this is two and three and then I'm gonna slip stitch on the first this is how it looks like I'm gonna slip stitch on the first double crochet that we did to join the row and this is how it looks like and from here I'm just gonna fasten off and at this point we can cut the yarn and weave the ends or weave the tails weave all the other tails of your piece too So this is now how the piece looks like with borders already crocheted. This is ready to wear. You can wear this as a shawl. So the next step is to get our four buttons and place it on the bottom left corner like this. Measure about 12 inches and sew uh, four buttons four inches apart like this and do the same on the top right corner of the piece like this 12 inches and sew buttons four inches apart so this is now the buttons are sewn on the shawl this is now how it looks like and we're done thank you very much for watching i hope you like the video and please subscribe <laughs>